Displaying and interpreting 2D seismic lines is easy in the 2D line view. In the control panel, select New 2D Line View. The navigation bar controls the data shown and the location. Select a line name and a stack volume in the volume drop down. You can select other volumes, such as attributes of sweetness or instantaneous amplitude. This pseudo relief attribute looks amazing. If your line intersects a 3D survey, the volumes from the 3D survey are interpolated onto the 2D line for display. This velocity volume is part of the 3D survey and only the intersecting portion of 3D survey is displayed on the 2D line. This second velocity volume is part of the 2D survey and so exists along the entire line, as can be seen when using blended groups. Gather volumes at an offset box to the navigation bar to enable offset browsing. Here I am displaying the intersecting 3D gathers and stepping offset increments of 300 meters. The domain selector allows you to display to a time or convert to TVDSS if a time depth conversion model has been configured. Check the 2D location on the map view. The active 2D line being displayed is shown on the map as a dashed line with a color matching the upper left window symbol as defined using mouse button 3 display settings. Display settings can also be used for setting an exact scale. Displaying a volume color bar and controlling the 2D line intersections, amongst other things. Distance can be measured horizontally and vertically to visualize the scale. Amplitude brightness is adjusted using the class or volume settings in the control panel. I can make the amplitudes colder or hotter. If you like your expert keys, use F5 and F6 to change the brightness. The view can be arbitrarily zoomed using the mouse button 3, proportionally zoomed using the mouse wheel, or it can be axis zoomed in Z or X directions. To return back to the full panel, use mouse button 3, zoom to fit. The map view aids navigation using line thickness. When the whole line is in view, the navigation markers in the map are a thin line. When the section is zoomed in, the navigation markers become thicker to highlight the visible portion. You can use mouse button 1 to pan the zoomed selection in both the 2D line view and also by dragging the navigation markers in the map view. To select a 2D line, you can do any of the following. You can select the 2D line name from the line drop down. The mouse wheel allows you to quickly scroll through the lines. Insights views are linked, so selecting a new location in map view will automatically update the 2D view. Using the map view, hold the shift key and select a line to see the open 2D line view update. You can click on individual lines in the map view or continuously hold the shift key and drag and drop the highlighted navigation marker from one line to the next. If the 2D line does not display as expected, you can reverse the display using the hotkey Ctrl R. Clicking the right mouse on the map view line allows you to create a new 2D line view. Notice that the new view has its own highlight color to make it easy to recognize and select on the map view. Wells are projected onto the section using a project distance defined for the well.
Finally, the camera is always on hand to capture a section for reports and presentations. If you have questions or would like to discover more, then visit our website at www.dog.com. And remember, have fun with insight!